Hey everyone, I wanted to walk you through the Desmos problem on 2.5 for the precise definition of a limit. Okay, so hopefully everyone can see my screen. I have the problem on the left side of the screen. And then we also have the Desmos already launched. So just to start with, when you open up the Desmos link, it's going to bring you to a page where your function is 2x and you start at some given a value, I guess it's one here. Um, for us, our problem's a little bit different. We need to make sure that our function is x squared and we're actually looking at the limit as x approaches two. So I need to go ahead and edit my function using the same kind of syntax you would in my open math. And I'm just gonna go ahead and zoom in a little bit here. So first I just want you to kind of get an idea through this animation. I'm going to hit play. So right now what's happening is that we're changing the value of delta. We're bouncing between 0 and 0 0.1. So delta is the orange band and epsilon is the blue band. So we can see that there's definitely a correlation between the size of delta and the size of epsilon. They're not the same size at all. However, we do see that as delta gets larger, epsilon also gets larger. So what we're asked to do for this question is we're asked to find the delta because again, delta determines the epsilon. We're, we're asked to find delta so that our epsilon is 0.1. So again, the problem says let f of x equals equal x squared. Let x approach two and suppose that epsilon is 0.1. What is the delta that would make this uh, set of inequalities true? So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of move our slider for D. So just to be clear, D stands for delta in this case, and E stands for epsilon. So we have the values given here in, in just plain text, and then we also can assess them from the ordered pairs given on the graph as well. So um, so just for example, like if I had, if my delta was 0.09, we can see that my epsilon, so first of all, sorry, to begin, am I at two? Ropesy daisies. Don't forget to change your, there you go. Much better. Um, ah, better, 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 best, better, closer, warmer. Okay. I'm gonna, I know what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this. That's right. Okay, I want to zoom out a teeny tiny bit. Okay, awesome. So we can see here that when delta is 0 0.09, that means I'm gonna be 0 0.09 above two. So I'm looking here on the x-axis. I'm gonna be 0 0.09 above two and I'm gonna be 0 0.09 below two. So two minus 0 0.09 puts me at 1.91, which great. And then adding 0.09 to 2 would put me at 2.09. So even though the width of that interval is actually 0.18, um, even though the width of the interval is actually 0.18, delta is actually just half that. Think of it more of like a radius instead of a diameter. And when delta is 0.9, we have our epsilon equal to 0.3681. So that means I am 0.3681 above four because four is two squared and I'm also 0 0.3681 below it. I don't want to be this big. This is a very large epsilon. I want my epsilon to be small. How small? 0 0.1 small. So in order to do that, I have to play with delta a little bit. So I'm going to, I can either watch it shrink here and I'm looking for this to hit 0 0.1 or I can watch it shrink here in the graph. So I would like it to be 4.1 and then the bottom one would need to be 3.9. So let's see what we can do. Da -da 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 -da. Bing, bong, boom, getting there. Really close, so close. But um, as the saying goes, that's only good enough in horseshoes and grenades. So we need to keep going. Even if we're under, that's fine. Um, but we definitely can't be over even if it's by a thousandth. Okay, so I think this is the closest I can do and right now our epsilon is 0 0.096576. So this is really close. Okay, what did we do? We accomplished our goal. We got our epsilon down to as close and below 
to 0.1 as we possibly could. And from here, we see that our delta is going to be 0 0.024. So the answer to this question is 0 0.024. So this is like the Desmos version where we look at it and everything's pretty and color coded. I'm also going to include um, like an analytical inequality written version as well. If you want to nerd out on that, it'll be on the form. And that's it.